Hi everyone and welcome to Nico's Kitchen once again. Today we're going to be making one of my favourite side dishes that I love to eat. Penne with a ricotta and basil sauce. guys penne with basil and ricotta sauce it is one of my favorite side dishes that I love to eat it's fantastic I love the very very simple fresh flavors it's absolutely beautiful so this is what you're going to need you're going to need some grape tomatoes or some cherry tomatoes now I've just halved these okay you can see there very very fresh love those just down the road from me I've got these, absolutely beautiful. So just get them and halve them. You're going to need some basil, lovely basil, basil, tomato and cheese. It's just, I don't know, it's one of those matches made in heaven again, it's just absolutely beautiful. So just some fresh basil, some spring onions or some scallions, I think you call them in the US. Okay, so just some scallions or spring onions some minced garlic now you can mince your own garlic but I find the you know a good uh, brand um, you know an expensive brand of minced garlic is really really good and full of flavor because sometimes the garlic can be a little bland depending on where you get it from but uh, the minced garlic in my opinion is just as good you're gonna need some chopped up onion just like that just some diced up onion some diced up bacon as well now guys I've got some ricotta here as well now I'm using the light version because we're on the healthier side of things, don't forget. Um, but if you want to use the full version, the full cream version of the uh, ricotta, that is fine. Okay, so it's completely up to you depending on how many calories you want to put in and how much time you want to spend at the gym. But this is pretty good. And of course, not forgetting the penne pasta. I love penne pasta. Gets all the, just in the tubes there, all the flavours get through it and with this creamy sauce, it's absolutely beautiful. So what we're gonna do first, go and put a pot of boiling water on and we're gonna boil our penne pasta. Once that's cooked, or just about five minutes just before it's cooked, we're then gonna start on our ricotta sauce. So come on over, get the pasta into the boiling water and we'll take it from there. Alrighty guys, we've got our pasta boiling just over there, just here. And we're going to start now on our ricotta and basil sauce. Now, first of all, I want to add in some bacon. Okay. And we want to add in the onion and the spring onion or the scallions. Okay. And to that, we want to add some minced garlic. Okay, guys, now that we've got the rawness out of the onions there, I'm just going to put in our basil, just sprinkle the basil over the top and I'm going to put in our ricotta. I'm just grabbing a ladle here of the water that I've boiled the pasta in, okay? Because we want that flavour from the pasta. If I use normal water or tap water, it's going to dilute the flavours and I want to keep that pasta flavour that's let go in the water. So I've just got a ladle here and I'm just going to Put a ladle of water from the pasta and just mix that through. Okay guys, once it's looking like that, okay, and I've drained off the pasta, just turn the heat down a little, grab yourself a big bowl, okay, big serving bowl, and we're gonna mix these, the sauce and the pasta through, and we'll get this bad boy on the run. What we wanna do now is just pour that over just like that. Okay, and while you've turned the heat off, you'll find it'll just slightly thicken up a little. And guys, I'm just going to put on our tomatoes. Now, we don't have to cook the tomatoes because they'll warm through with the pasta and that sauce. So there you go guys, a beautiful penne with ricotta and basil sauce. Now have a look at that, I've just finished it off 
with some more basil leaves over the top. Guys, give this a go. As always, all the ingredients are that way on the side of the page. Check it out. Leave a comment below. Let me know how you go with it. Give it a go. You take care. And as always, I'll see you next time.